Now, today's video, I'm going to be talking about Isaiah Washington. We all know Isaiah is currently a sophomore in college attending University of Minnesota. But earlier this month, Isaiah has brought to social media that him and his family decided that it's best for him to part ways from Minnesota and start looking for a different school he could transfer to so he can have a fresh start for his junior season next year. So first, throughout these two years, Isaiah has been playing at Minnesota. You can tell that he's been very frustrated playing at this school mainly because of the role Coach Patino gave him ever since he came to Minnesota, such as coming off the bench being a six slash seven man player. And on top of that, even though Isaiah Washington is listed as averaging 16 minutes a game this year, before the NCAA tournament when Minnesota lost against Michigan State in the second round, Coach Patino only played Isaiah for only seven minutes for literally six games straight. And on top of that, it's not even just that. Literally, there's other games when Coach Patino only play Isaiah Washington for a little bit and take him out for the rest of the game. For example, he will put him in for a few minutes for the first half of the game, then take him out for the rest of the second half of the game, or he might put him in for the second half of the game for a few minutes, then that's it. So honestly, in my opinion, Coach really has been wishy-washy with Isaiah Washington this year when it comes to him having playing time on the court. And, you know, I don't know if it's something going on behind closed doors or something like that. Or Coach probably got something against Isaiah. I really don't know. Of course, we're not going to know the actual truth. But here's another thing that I thought about. So when you just look at the roster Minnesota have this year, literally their full team is filled with a lot of guards. And most of the guards are juniors and seniors. And as you can see, Isaiah, he's a sophomore. So... I guess it's kind of hard for Coach to even determine who he wants to play just because he got so many guards on his team to choose from. And another thing I want you guys to think about is that Minnesota is not that type of school like Duke, Kentucky, and whatever school that you know that likes to start all their freshmen. Minnesota is that type of school that probably will start about one or two freshmen. For example, this past year, Minnesota, most of the games they started was with Gabe Kalsher, who was a freshman, and Danielle Oturo, who is a freshman also. Those two guys were starting most of the time throughout the year, and those were the only two freshmen. But everybody else was juniors and seniors, such as Dupree McBrayer, who is a senior, Amir Coffrey, who is a junior. So as you can see, these are guys Isaiah Washington was subbing in for. And honestly, in my opinion, I really feel like Isaiah was really feeling some type of way this year, mainly because of Gabe Kalsher, who is a freshman guard that was averaging nearly 30 plus minutes a game. And the reason why I feel like Isaiah was feeling some type of way about him is because even though Isaiah had the opportunity to start some games last year, and that was because of the injury of Nate Mason, who was a senior guard last year and went to the G League. If it wasn't for Nate injury, Isaiah most likely wouldn't have started all those games last year. So, you know, it kind of is messed up how this year when Minnesota gets a new freshman guard who was also a four-star guard, just like Isaiah Washington. But here's the thing about Gabe and Isaiah. Isaiah was an ESPN Top 100 player. Gabe was not. But they both was ranked as a four-star player. So basically what I'm trying to say is that once Gabe came to Minnesota this year, he automatically got the starting position and more playing time than Isaiah Washington both years combined. So you know he was heated off of that. You know he was heated because at the end of the day, his goal is that he wants to make it to the NBA. A lot of people has a lot of expectations on Isaiah Washington, definitely being a social media person. You know, a lot of people know him as being Jelly Fam and all that stuff. So everybody is still watching Isaiah Washington, but it's hard to watch him when you see this guy on the bench most of the time and playing behind other freshmen that was ranked the same as him it's really messed up and i don't blame him for wanting to leave because i know he came to minnesota with the mindset as in i want to lead this team and you know get this team some dubs but as you can see that really wasn't the case even though minnesota actually had two good years these past two years they was doing very well like it's not like they was playing trash or anything they made it to the ncaa tournament made it to the second round minnesota actually had a fairly well season but now they will be losing their promising guard they had on their team. And it's really because it just seems like Coach Pacino really didn't have faith in Isaiah Washington like we thought he was. But it's cool because he will be transferring to a different school. And hopefully, I just hope he take his time, evaluate the school, the basketball program, talk to the coaching staff. Just make sure whatever school you go to next is the best fit for you. Because at the end of the day, you have two more years in college. You're about to be a junior. 
and I know you want to enter the NBA draft sooner or later, probably after your junior year. And that's why he's transferred to a different school. But I just really hope Isaiah Washington really keep his eyes open and just take his time so he can make the right decision for himself in his basketball career. I want you guys to leave your comments below on how y'all feel about Isaiah leaving Minnesota. Do y'all feel like this is a good decision or a bad decision? Also, make sure y'all go subscribe to my second channel called 10K Wallace Vlogs. I will be posting new videos for that channel, so make sure you go subscribe to that channel. I think you guys are watching. If you make sure you like, subscribe, make sure you press the notification button to get game. We out.